residual adherent clot material was carefully stripped and dislodged from the ulcer base by using the tip of a thermal probe and water jet irrigation. Following clot removal, a cross section of a vessel sticking out of the ulcer base was noted. Bipolar electrocoagulation of the vessel was performed at a setting of 20 watts with a long duration of application of at least 10 seconds while applying firm probed tissue pressure. Mild bleeding was noted following initial application of bipolar coagulation, which was controlled with repeat application of the contact thermal probe. Vessel obliteration and cavitation of the treated site were consistent with a satisfactory response. Of note, clipping would have been inappropriate for this lesion given its difficult location, need for retroflex position, and large fibrotic base that would preclude clip anchoring to tissue. This case illustrates the usefulness of cap-assisted hemostasis for duodenal lesions that are difficult to access. Shown here is the limited endoscopic view of an ulcer at the duodenal angle with an overlying clot that was unintentionally dislodged during passage of the endoscope into the second portion of the duodenum, resulting in active bleeding. Placement of a transparent cap at the tip of the endoscope will enhance access and visualization of lesions that are situated in difficult locations, such as the duodenal angle and the posterior inferior wall of the duodenum. The cap can provide scope stability and minimize repeated falling back of the endoscope into the stomach. Moreover, the cap provides a much needed working distance for the insertion and use of hemostatic accessories. With the cap, the bleeding site shown here was better visualized and enabled targeted coagulation therapy using a bipolar probe. Julefoy lesion involving the duodenal stump of the afferent limb in a patient with a Billroth II anatomy is shown. Combination therapy is recommended. Epinephrine was injected to arrest bleeding. This was then followed by bipolar probe coagulation at a setting of 20 watts and 10 to 12 seconds duration of application with cavitation of the treated site.